Shakti has played a pivotal role in reshaping our understanding of the universe and our place within it. For instance, our galaxy is the Milky Way, and the nearest galaxy to us is Andromeda. We estimate there are about 100 billion galaxies in the visible universe. Andromeda served as compelling evidence that the cosmos and the concept of creation do not revolve around Earth. This discovery shattered the notion that the Milky Way was the sole galaxy in existence, suggesting that we are just a tiny part of the vast universe. Join us on this cosmic journey. Two minutes ago, the James Webb Telescope received an alarming signal from the Andromeda Galaxy. While we have accumulated knowledge about Andromeda over the last century, much of it was gathered from observations made on Earth. However, with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope now at our disposal, our perspective has drastically changed. Surprisingly, the recent data obtained from the James Webb Telescope has upended our previous notions about the Andromeda Galaxy. Another cosmic puzzle now needs to be solved, as the JWST has received signals from our neighboring galaxy leaving the entire scientific community intrigued. Indeed, the perception of the Andromeda galaxy has undergone significant changes over the course of human history, shaped by our evolving understanding of the cosmos. In the past, when our technological capabilities were limited, the Milky Way appeared as a hazy band of light across the night sky, inspiring various interpretations and mythologies. It was often seen as a mystical and central element in the cosmological beliefs of different cultures. As our scientific knowledge advanced, particularly with the development of telescopes and the work of astronomers like Galileo Galilei, we began to realize that the Milky Way was not just a celestial concept, but a vast collection of stars, planets, and other celestial objects. This realization revolutionized our understanding of our place in the universe. Today, Thanks to modern telescopes and astronomical research, we have a much clearer picture of the Milky Way as a barred spiral galaxy containing billions of stars, including our own sun. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, made a transformative discovery using the 100-inch Hooker Telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. Hubble observed distant nebulae beyond the Milky Way. Through the observations and analysis of these objects, he showed that they weren't actually part of the Milky Way, but were entirely separate galaxies, each containing billions of stars. One of the closest of these galaxies was the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. The Andromeda Galaxy has a rich history of observations that dates back centuries. One of the earliest known records of this celestial object can be traced back to the 10th century when the Persian astronomer Abdul al-Rahman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud in star charts from that period. The significance of these observations lies in the fact that al-Sufi was able to identify this distant cosmic entity without the help of telescopic instruments, relying solely on his keen eyesight and observations. It wasn't until 1612 that a detailed description of the Andromeda galaxy based on telescopic observations was provided by Simon Marius. His work laid the foundation for future astronomers to study this massive cosmic structure. Later, in 1764, the renowned French astronomer Charles Messier cataloged the Andromeda galaxy as M31 in his well-known Messier catalog, mistakenly attributing its discovery to Simon Marius. However, this doesn't diminish Messier's role in putting Andromeda on the map. For almost 100 years after these observations, astronomers worldwide sought to understand more of this mysterious galaxy, each adding to the findings of the last. Before that, Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer, revolutionized our understanding of the Milky Way in the early 17th century. Using his newly developed telescope, he made groundbreaking observations that challenged the prevailing Italian cosmology. In 1750, English astronomer Thomas Wright proposed a new hypothesis in his work, an original theory or new hypothesis of the universe. According to Wright's speculation, the Milky Way was not a random distribution of stars in space, but a flat layer of stars. He also suggested that a portion of this vast structure was our own solar system. While Wright's hypothesis was a step forward in understanding the structure of the Milky Way, it was still limited by the observational technology available at that time. A significant leap in understanding the nature of the Andromeda galaxy occurred in 1864 
when the English astronomer William Huggins made a groundbreaking observation. He studied the spectrum of Andromeda and noticed that it was different from that of a typical gaseous nebula. This observation paved the way for the world to understand Andromeda for what it really is. The Andromeda galaxy has a mass estimated to be between one and two trillion times that of our sun, making it a colossal cosmic structure that just happens to live relatively close to us in the vastness of space. Based on all the research conducted until now, scientists believe that Andromeda is about 10 billion years old, making it quite ancient in cosmic terms. One intriguing aspect of Andromeda's origin is the hypothesis that it came into being through the merging of several smaller proto-galaxies. This suggests that over billions of years, smaller galactic entities gradually came together under the force of gravity to form the majestic Andromeda galaxy we see today. Galactic mergers are common occurrences in the cosmos, shaping the growth and structure of galaxies. For a long time, however, astronomers thought Andromeda was significantly more massive than our own Milky Way galaxy. This misconception is understandable, considering the limitations of the observational tools available in the 1700s and 1800s. Recent research has led to a re-evaluation of these beliefs. New findings have led scientists to somewhat reduce their estimate of Andromeda's mass, while simultaneously increasing the mass attributed to our Milky Way. The current understanding is that the masses of these two cosmic giants are much closer than previously thought. So, if you were on Andromeda and looked at Earth, you'd see just as massive of a galaxy. This perspective highlights how colossal the Milky Way is as well. Astronomers do agree on the physical dimensions of the Andromeda galaxy. It is known to stretch farther than our own Milky Way, with an impressive diameter of about 220,000 light years. Andromeda surpasses the Milky Way's estimated diameter of roughly 100,000 to 175,000 light years, making it a truly significant cosmic entity, occupying a large region in space. This revised perspective also highlights the complexities and challenges of accurately measuring the mass of galaxies. At the heart of the Andromeda galaxy, a supermassive black hole exerts an immensely powerful gravitational pull on surrounding stars. As these stars orbit the black hole, they follow elliptical paths similar to the orbits of planets around the sun in our solar system. At a certain point in their elliptical orbits, stars come close to the black hole. This point is called the perihelion. At the perihelion, the gravitational forces are at their strongest, causing the stars to move at their highest speeds. This is when the stars bunch up and become more concentrated in space around the black hole. As they bunch up, the stars release energy in the form of radiation, including visible light and other types of electromagnetic radiation. The increased concentration of stars and the release of radiation create the brighter point of concentration that astronomers observe in the galactic core of Andromeda's AGN, active galactic nucleus. More on this later. This distinctive feature provides valuable clues about the gravitational dynamics and interactions between the supermassive black hole and the surrounding stars. To understand this better, let's take a look at what an AGN is. The active galactic nucleus, popularly known as AGN, is a highly energetic region at the center of a galaxy. It is characterized by intense emissions across various wavelengths, from radio waves to X-rays. AGNs are powered by the presence of a supermassive black hole at the heart of the galaxy. These supermassive black holes are incredibly dense regions in space where an enormous amount of mass is concentrated within a very small volume. When astronomers observe the active galactic nucleus using advanced telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope, they notice a very interesting phenomenon. One of the most fascinating features of the Andromeda galaxy is its AGN. It appears to have two points of concentration, meaning there are two distinct regions where light and other forms of radiation are emanating more intensely than in the surrounding areas. The brighter concentration is the second point of focus, which is just slightly off the true galactic center. Within this area lies the supermassive black hole. The mass of this black hole has been estimated to be between 1.1 to 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 solar masses, meaning it weighs approximately 110 to 230 million times as much as our sun. 
Supermassive black holes are believed to be common in the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, and they play a crucial role in the evolution and dynamics of galaxies. When matter, such as gas and stars, gets too close to a supermassive black hole, it forms an accretion disk around it. This disk of swirling material heats up and emits intense radiation across various wavelengths, which is why the AGN is highly luminous. When astronomers observe the active galactic nucleus of the Andromeda galaxy, they notice a brighter point of concentration near the central supermassive black hole. This feature results from the unique gravitational interactions between the black hole and the stars in its vicinity. The Andromeda galaxy also has another fascinating feature, an abundance of globular clusters. These globular clusters are tight groups of stars that orbit the center of the galaxy, similar to satellites. What's amazing about these globular clusters is that they hold clues to the galaxy's history. Researchers have observed that many of these globular clusters in Andromeda appear to be much older than those in our Milky Way galaxy, dating back to the earliest stages of the universe. This indicates that Andromeda has likely been accumulating stars for a longer period, suggesting a more complex and varied history of star formation compared to our Milky Way. Even today, researchers still face challenges when observing the Andromeda galaxy because it often appears flattened and hazy from our perspective on Earth. This is due to the immense distance between us and Andromeda. However, the upcoming merger between Andromeda and the Milky Way is expected to reshape both galaxies and provide even more insights into the mysteries of the universe. The Andromeda galaxy is on a collision course with the Milky Way a cosmic event that will take place about 4.5 billion years from now. This galactic collision has fascinated astronomers for years because it's one of the most significant future events in our cosmic neighborhood. The collision will set in motion a sequence of events that will eventually lead to the formation of a new, combined galaxy, often referred to as Milkometa or Milkdromeda. However, this process won't happen overnight. It's expected to take several billion years for the two galaxies to fully merge and settle into their final shape. One of the most intriguing aspects of this galactic merger is the role of the two supermassive black holes at the centers of Andromeda and the Milky Way. As the galaxies come together, these black holes will likely interact in a complex dance of gravitational forces. Eventually, they may merge to form an even larger supermassive black hole at the heart of the newly formed galaxy. However, it's important to note that individual stars within the galaxies are so far apart that they won't collide directly with each other. Instead, they'll be influenced by the changing gravitational environment as the galaxies merge. This will likely cause some stars to be ejected from the combined galaxy, while others may settle into new orbits around the galactic center. One of the most interesting points is that before Andromeda and the Milky Way collide, our Milky Way will actually collide with another smaller galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. This event is expected to happen even sooner than the Andromeda-Milky Way collision in about 2.4 billion years. These galactic mergers highlight the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. The idea that galaxies are constantly evolving, interacting, and merging with one another challenges our perceptions of cosmic stability and permanence. It reminds us that the universe is an active and dynamic place, with processes that span billions of years. The fascinating story of the Andromeda galaxy is still unfolding. As astronomers continue to study this colossal neighbor of ours, new discoveries will undoubtedly be made, shedding light on the mysteries of galaxy formation, evolution, and the ultimate fate of our universe. The Andromeda Galaxy's journey is a testament to the ongoing quest for knowledge and understanding in the field of astronomy. With the help of advanced technology and space exploration, the coming decades will likely bring even more revelations about this ancient and awe-inspiring galaxy making it an enduring subject of fascination for generations to come. However, what about the JWST? What has it uncovered? And more importantly, what do these signals mean for humanity? We will cover all this and more in our next part of the series. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, 
Keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.